Coach, you're going up against some top single high safeties. Minka Fitzpatrick is another one coming up. What do you see from his game? Oh, we'll probably present a challenge for you guys. Yeah, obviously, um, Minka's a very aggressive player, uh, very instinctful, can make plays in the football, can tackle. Um, you have to be very aware of he, where he is all the time on the field. Very disruptive player, and there's a reason why they're productive on defense. They're very good on defense. It's a lot because of him, Edmonds, the front, obviously Watt. <clears throat> Cam Hayward, like all the, all those guys mm -hmm. are, are very, very good and very fundamentally sound, I would mm -hmm. say. They play very well on Mike Collins' scheme and Terrell Austin's scheme, and they preach fundamentals, they preach toughness, they preach dependability. And you can see that show up on, every single week on, on tape. And they get to the football, they force turnovers, and they make your own every single Coach, time. have you ever coached a better player than Devontae Adams who literally makes everyone else better? Uh, specifically talking and going back to that Darren Waller touchdown, it looked like the safety was pulled away um, in a unique cover shell. Can you talk about that play and what you saw on that play that really gave Darren Waller that seam? Yeah, on that specific play, I mean, I think, you know, they were playing a lot of man coverage in the red area. And um, again, like I said, where, where's the cover to take the ball to go? Mm. You know, they try and lean one way to Devontae or they try and take away Josh in the running game, whatever it is. And you have a one-on-one -on -one matchup somewhere else. And, you know, obviously Darren did a good job of taking advantage of that and went on his route, you know, but it, again, it comes down to running a good route and having good technique and trying to get open at the top of the route. You know, it doesn't matter if you're one or not, there's really good players in the league. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to see those this Sunday in Pittsburgh, this Saturday night in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. you know, um, whether it's Fitzpatrick or Edmonds at safety on, on Darren, I mean, they're good cover players. So mm -hmm. you still have to run a good route, have good technique and win the line of scrimmage and get open. So there's kind of a double-edged sword there. Yeah, sure, the, the coverage can dictate you, you to get the ball, but you got to run a good route and have a good top of the route and make the catch. All right, thanks, Coach. Yeah. Coach, you guys are going against George Pickens, a guy who has high, good height, weight, speed. What do you see from his game that may present a challenge for you on the back end there? Well, most positions, if you have height, weight, and speed, <laughs> it's good. I mean, it's a big man league. You know, that's what you know. That's what this game's about. You know, Correct. About big people playing uh, and running fast, and I mean, he's one of those guys. Uh, you know, he does a good job down the field catching the ball. Um, he challenges you in the run game. I mean, that's why. That's why I'm always impressed with. The receivers that block in the run game, mm -hmm. they get in there, you know, he's in the C-gap area blocking. Mm -hmm. He'll come down there and crack you. You know, I'm really impressed with how they teach that. You know, Mike does a good job of, you know, instilling toughness in those guys, and you can see it on the tape. Just mm -hmm. look at the last game against Carolina, just right. in terms of how many times they ran the ball. You know, Mike's not one to, you know, say something and not mean it. So he said they're going to establish the last scrimmage, the toughness, he wanted that to show. And they took it down there. It was on the road, correct? I yeah. Believe, yeah on the road and they did that. So, you know, we gotta get ready for that, especially the Saturday night game, Christmas Eve, you know, it's gonna be pretty cool. I forget the new name of the stadium. I, I don't wanna misspeak, but, <laughs> but it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. And just doing a better job of just, you know, controlling the line of scrimmage, you know, that's a big part of what we wanna be as a defense, what the coach, coach Daniel sees us being as a football team, controlling the line of scrimmage, so we gotta do a better job there. You're talking about, you know, stopping the run and how physical they are. When you look at Najee Harris and the skills that he has, how important will it be for guys like Luke and Denzel to be ready to go against him? I mean, he's a big man. <laughs> this, is, this is a very big man. I mean, just on the tape, it seemed like he was bigger than I mean, I haven't seen him in person before, so I'm like, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I, I get excited about these big backs, you know, like Derrick Henry, those guys. But he's a big man. It's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge for everybody. It's not going to be a one-man show to tackle this guy. I mean, he has a stiff arm. He's elusive. Um, he has good speed. He has great vision. You know, and it's going to be a tough matchup. It's going to be a tough matchup. And then the old line, I can't say enough about these guys. They're, they're, they're blocking people. They're staying, you know, they're being physical at the line of scrimmage. They're all big men, and they do a good job of getting movement. So it's going to be a challenge. And then the tight ends, they come in there. They're all big, and they can block. And the receivers can block. I mean, I'm sure when the quarterback comes out on one of these gadgets, he might block too. So I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> It's a Pittsburgh football team, and it's going to be Saturday night. It's going to be cold. It's going to be fun. Coach Kyle Pecco is a guy that really stood out in run defense against the Patriots. What do you see from his game, you know, coming in as a practice squad player and now being elevated to the active roster? You know, all the things we're looking for in terms of that position. You know, uh -huh. One, staying ready, being ready. I mean, that, that, that's what he, he, he's done his whole career. He's a veteran. He knows how to play blocks. He had to play with patience. You know, a big part of that, people think, you know, defeating blocks is just – shocking somebody and getting off it. it's about being patient mm. you know by the time you make contact with the offensive line the ball carrier doesn't have the ball yet you got to control the ball you got to control the block first so you can find where the ball is you get off too soon then you get in trouble but his patience in the run game the ability to lock out and uh, shed that's the stuff that stands out to me and then you know being able to move laterally in terms of staying on his feet 
and just being smart about it. Just no, having uh, playing to the tendencies, um, reading his keys. So real pleased with what Kyle's done. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank